Hey guys, Court here. Today I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my sanctuary, which I just finished up not too long ago. Now the frames are a little bit choppy, but not too bad. I'm not gonna speak too much on everything just because there's so much to show. I'm just going to point out the main things when we get to them, like what building is for what and stuff like that. But I'm not going to point out every single detail. I'll let you guys use your eyes to see what's going on. Now, I'm going to do a walk through the street first so you guys can see all the buildings. And then we'll come back to the entrance and we'll look inside each building and I'll explain what they're all about. But for now, I'll just let you guys have a look. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. Be happy to answer them. Now this build took me... Let's have a look. How long is this playthrough? 10 days. I think I started this at around 8 days, maybe 7.5. But I've, that's, I've also done some, um, you know, combat and quests and stuff in between. So I'd say roughly 50, 60 hours maybe. But yeah, you can see here the frames do get a bit choppy. Yeah, again, don't freak out if I'm going too fast because I will come back to every little area and every building and do a thorough walk through for you guys and explain things that need explaining. But basically, the main idea for this settlement is it's a Minuteman, obviously, Minuteman controlled town, Minuteman protected town, but it's the capital of the Commonwealth. Considering in my playthrough, the Minutemen have taken over. They're pretty much the main power in the Commonwealth. So they can choose to say what the, the capital is. Okay. Nearly done the full loop of the settlement. Diagnostic complete. I'm happy to report I won't be falling apart on you anytime soon. Alrighty. So that's the quick walkthrough of the settlement. Now I'll go through each building and show you guys a more detailed look around. First of all, I'll start up here in the, in the walls. This is basically what I've gone for, for defense. And then yeah. there's the covenant walls in some places as well. So I'll start off here. This is the clinic. It's somebody's, it's the, the, um, the doctor's home as well as his clinic, so. Because if you guys have seen, um, my county crossing build, then you'll know that that's the main medical center. So if someone has a, you know, a serious problem, they'll probably go there. This is just for minor health issues and whatnot. Yeah, here's his bathroom. You know, kitchen, sound room. And then here's where he treats his patients.
And then here's where he sleeps. Pretty simple. Little bedroom. He's got a spot for a dog as well. But yeah, pretty simple. Little clinic. This is where he does some, some testing and whatnot. And he does store some, some meds up here. Pretty simple. I couldn't go too crazy on the decorating because the frames are already kind of bad. But he does have a guard, some gardening equipment as well and a nice little garden. Little pergola. Seating area at the back. Now if we look here, we can see a loot symbol for the railroad. If we jump over here, we can see some... Some food, meds, and ammo tucked away. So that's the first building. The clinic and the doctor's house. Now here we have... I don't know what I'm calling this. It's kind of like an information centre and like a meeting room for Minutemen VIPs and, you know, storage for information and... There's an armory as well. I'll just let you guys have a look. But, uh, it's kind of just a little bit of everything. So on our left here we have the armory. Which I'll give you guys a closer look in a second. Kind of like a waiting area here. You can have a cup of tea. And then there's some file storage and whatever else they're storing here. Some ham radios for communicating with other settlements. A statue. Cannon. Uh, some donuts. A little meeting table here. Another seating area. In here we have some offices. And then this is the armory. Pretty small armory, but gets the job done. Lots of laser muskets, ammo, rockets, a plasma sniper rifle, mini nukes, bombs, you name it, it's probably there. So yeah, that's kind of like a meeting room. Basically just like the Minuteman HQ for this settlement, considering it is the capital. This little outer back backyard part here, which leads to a little garden. But yep, that's that building. We've also got a statue here and a couple of flags. And along the whole road, there's obviously the, the white flowers and nice lamp posts. And at the end of the tour, I'll do a, I'll run through the street at night time, yeah. so you guys can see that. Now here we just have a house, a residence, the settle. Pardon me, of the settlement. Won't spend too long showing this because it is just a house for people to live little office and laundry you know they don't have too much room in these houses so they have to squeeze it in bathroom now, i couldn't get a floor in here so i just had to live with it in my head they're still Putting in the floor panels, you know. <laughs> Just couldn't couldn't get it to snap. But there's one bedroom. And another one. So that's another house. Now, sh before we go to this house, I'll do a quick run around. Yeah. The outside of it. We've got another another defensive wall here. Turrets all around. Guard posts. Garage here. 
the storage and so they can do some work. Nice little back garden and seating area. So this is house number three. Hope I'm not going too quick. Here you guys. Got all their cutlery nice laid out. These guys are very organized. Cooking noodle cups it seems to be the favorite in the Commonwealth. Can't blame them. I also love my noodles. Pasta. Also got some muskets at the front door. Bedroom. I tried to do every, you know, building kind of similar but different, if that makes sense. I didn't want them to be all the exact same. But they do have similarities. You know, they obviously all have a bathroom. But they are decorated slightly different. Little bunkhouse. I guess this is for a couple of um, soldiers. That's house number three. We'll go out the side entrance here. Now, here is the trading or the shopping mall, I've called it. We have a spot for traveling traders to set up shop. We've got the front glass display windows. Some junk outside as you'll see the there's two general traders there's the rank two rank four traders there's the um Volk tech rep and then there's trader riley as well and they've kind of set up shop together a general store and they've got a lot of junk not all junk there are some nice things as well identity confirmed this unit is ready to serve. We'll enter here. So this is where Voltech Rep and Riley have set up shop. And the frames in here are pretty choppy, so I'll try to go nice and slow. Now, if you guys remember when you first meet Riley, she's picking up some potted meat, so she's got quite a supply from that uh, mystery meat quest. So she's tr still trying to sell that stuff. Looking to trade? Some nice antiques and stuff like that on this table. More expensive stuff. Look at the two of us here in sanctuary, prepared for the future. Some tools, furniture. And then back here we've got milk, cola, some food. Uh, the pod for the protectron. Got any scab to sell? So that's the general trader part. Now, if we enter from the other side, it's the clothing store. This guy has quite the range of clothes on display, from pre-war to scavenger outfits. He's even got a vault suit, some hats on display on some flamingos. So that's the clothing store. Now if we head upstairs there's armour and Got weapons. So here's the weapon store. We've got 
Chinese assault rifle and a carbine in there. I like those. They're nice. Now here's the armor store. He's got some full sets for you. If you wanted a full set, or he's just got some individual pieces on display. Here, you gotta take things one day at a time. He's even got some power armor pieces. So that's the shopping mall. Round back there is some some junk as well. Now here's there's three entrances to this settlement. Here's the second entrance. Heading up to Vault 111. The settlement is completely walled and turrets all around. Um, guards at the entrance points and along the walls. You can see one up there. I think there's around five or six guards that roam around, something like that. And this is going to be a long tour, isn't it? <laughs> Here's house number four. House number four. Nice patio. Bench, little eating area out the back, nice little cornfield with some scarecrows, and then we're heading through the front door. Would I would love to have um, decorated them more, but the fr I don't like playing the game when the frames are too bad and. It can get kind of choppy, so yeah, tried to keep it a little bit, a little bit simple, because it is a large settlement. So that's house number four. We head up here. On our left, we have the Soul Survivors original house, <clears throat> which they've just kept in its original state. Obviously, I've scrapped everything when I first came through, but they don't really want to live here because it brings back, you know, memories of, of Nate and Sean. And I still haven't gotten Sean in my playthrough yet. Maybe when I get him, I'll come back and I'll, I'll redo the house. Make him a little room in here. But for now, it's a restricted area and it's off limits. And behind us, we have the house where June, Marcy, Mama Murphy, and Sturges and Preston will hang out around. So Sturges has a little workshop where he's working on rebuilding a car. He's got lots of tools and he's got a couple of Mr. Handies which he might end up. Cracking open and seeing if he can get him working. Which he has done with one, because we do have one farmer handy in the greenhouse. Here's the, the house. Nicely decorated. It was the first house that, the, you know, settlers settled in, so. The original... Settlers of Sanctuary. Nice bathroom here. I've noticed I put Rad X around the place a fair bit. Because, you know, there's Rad Storms and... When there's a Rad Storm, you got to take your Rad X pill. And my characters <laughs> probably have enough Rad X saved up for every settler that in the Commonwealth, to be honest. A bottle for each settler. So that's house number, what's that? That's number six, I guess, considering that was number five. Alright, Continu continuing on, we have a garden here. Now this one isn't really dedicated to the Minutemen or anything, it's just a nice 
little garden for the settlers to come and hang around in. Someone doing some gardening there. The gardener of sanctuary. And I'm pretty happy with this. I do, do like how this turned out. I really like the fountain in the middle. Alright. This house here is for sale. Now, I wanted to um, decorate it, but for some reason, my scrapping mod doesn't let me scrap anything in here. So, I just put it up for sale and thought, you know, it's for sale. If someone wants to come in and, and refurbish it, they can. Here we have another wall. And... All the way along there, there's a wall as well. I'll show you guys, it actually connect. They all connect. Guard posts. As we can see, I've connected them all. All the way back to house number four. <clears throat> Alright. Moving on. There's one more house. I think this is the last residential house here. They have a nice little garage area with a dog house. Some picket fence magazines. You can tell these guys like their gardening, the settlers who live here. Heading on inside. Got a pool table. Dartboard, some drinks. I think these guys like to party a bit. Got some muskets in there. Now here's some storage, laundry, some rad X, food, tools, just your basic storage room. I mean, it is the apocalypse. You probably don't want to be storing tools where you store your food, but they don't really have an option, so. Moving on here, we have a cool bunk room. Oh, there's a wrench in there. Here we have the bathroom. Someone's looks like they just ran a bath. It might be a bit too hot though. They need to let it cool down. It does look pretty steamy. Lucky there's some good ventilation, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's the bathroom. And then another bedroom here. These guys look to be quite wealthy settlers. Maybe it's one of the traders lives here. That's another one of the residential houses. Now this is kind of the, I guess you could call it town square. But it's a circle, but you know, there's a lot of nice stuff here. Start off on the right here, we have a police station. Now that sign can be taken down because Kellogg has been dealt with. So here's the police station. Here's where you can, yes, file any complaints or speak to someone about anything that's going on. Lots of filing cabinets, some papers on the ground they kept around. Some cupcakes Mama Murphy made for them. Now it is getting dark, so I will quickly just sleep till morning. Give me a time to catch my breath. <laughs> it's been quite, I mean, what are we, 24 minutes in? Still got a fair bit to show, and I want to do the night tour through the streets as well. If you're still watching, I appreciate it. It is quite a long one. Thanks for sticking with me. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are enjoying it, 
forget to like the video because that does help other people discover the channel and and the videos so we have some food storage a nice kitchen i guess this is where the soldiers and the guards and that come and you know have their dinner all together you can see into the greenhouse here we even got some produce from it there Some freshly baked bread. Lots of coffee around, as you can see. Coffee machine. Okay, heading up here, we've got donuts, because it is a police station. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Now, the first aid is referring to the first aid box there. Not the donuts, don't get confused. Here we have the barracks. And the bathroom. And then the jail. Where there is supposed to be, let's see if we can get in there. There's supposed to be a settler. Let's just wait an hour. See if he shows up. Yeah, there he is. There we go. So there is someone in jail. Got his own toilet in there. Make their food and leave it there for them. I don't know what he's going to do with that soap, but <laughs> we'll figure something out. So that's the jail. And yeah, that's the police station. Um, there is a little side part here as well. Okay. Now we'll head around, we'll, we've got this central part here, the reason I put rocks here is because I scrapped a few of the ground pieces and it left some uh, of the under mesh visible, so I just covered it up with rocks and then I thought it looked nice so I added a few more. And we do have a well as well, and I just replaced this tree with a, a live one, because in my cannon, head cannon, you know, we've got all these flowers and that, but there's no reason why they couldn't grow green, you know, green plants and beautiful plants if they tried hard enough. And it's probably been five years after, in my head canon anyway, since, probably even more than that to be honest, since the Soul Survivor emerged from Vault 111. Anyways, here we have the church, which out the back of the church there is... Mm, pardon me, there is a, a uh, graveyard. Cemetery. So we have Mama Murphy. As I hope you realize how much you did for me. Mama head Murphy, honcho of the church. The word, kid? No more cams. She's no longer no on the cams, so either. she's chosen the religious path. Got a nice piano here. Maybe Mama Murphy's learning to play piano instead of taking jet. Farming's as honest as honest work gets. We have a settler. Looks like he's getting some some words in with Mama Murphy. So yeah, that's the church. Out back here we have the cemetery. I'll actually come through. There's a side gate here you can come through. Got a few graves of settlers and a couple of soldier graves there as well. Settlers like to come here and after their jobs are done and they sit and, and pray and mourn the dead. Now these graves are already here. Um, so I just thought I'd add, add them as soldier graves. Alright. Heading around the side. As we can see there's another wall here. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks. There's Piper. Um yeah, Preston and Piper both live in this settlement. They're the only companions that live here. But here we have the hotel, which I'm really happy with. Before we go inside, I'll do a quick little Oh, that is bright, isn't it? 
quick little run around the outside for you guys to have a look. Now, the mod I used to build like the church and the Minuteman Information Center and the hotel is Snappy House Kit, I think it's called. It is a great mod, I definitely recommend it. It can be a bit tricky, but it is definitely worth it once you get the hang of it. So here's the hotel, first floor. We have the nice, you know, winged stairways. Really like that. Happy with how that turned out. We have the bar here. I knew you'd help us. Here I'm back. We can see his work area. Really happy with this as well. If you work, and also that's just a bartender mat, level three bartender mat. From I think USO, one of the mods. And if the height just happened to be perfect with this. Which is great because I really like these these uh, counters. But yeah, he's got everything back here, yeah. really. He's even got a gun case just in case someone comes in and runs them up. He's got a keg safe. Lots of drinks. Even got a barbecue here, grill. Cooking up some brahmin steaks on that. Fridge, glasses, pretty much everything he needs. Hi, how are you? Over here we've got a pool table. Some signs. Lots of seating and stuff like that. Little kind of back area here. Maybe where they take some drugs, some jet. Alright, we'll head upstairs now. See the frames do get a bit choppy. So here we have the second floor. Where there, well there's just some decoration and some seating. And there is a balcony here. With a nice view. Beautiful view. I really like that view there. There is a better one on the third floor, which I'll show you guys shortly. Here's one of the hotel rooms. Now the other hotel room is basically the exact same. But I'm really happy with how this turned out too. This is nice. Pretty much what you'd expect from a nice hotel room in the apocalypse. Apparently the castle's been trying to get you on the radio. Oh yeah. Some kind of situation. Here's the other one. Oh, that shouldn't be there. It glitched through the floor. Sorry, Preston. All right, heading upstairs. This is the VIP section. So we have Piper's room and then Preston's room. But before we go in there, I'll show you guys the hallway here. Nice little area for them to chill out. If they have any visitors, you know. Heading out here. Now, this is a beautiful view. I love this view. You can see all the way down there. It's a bit foggy, which I'm very sorry about. Bit of a shame, but I could wait, but eh, you, you guys get the idea. Adds a little bit of atmosphere as well. Okay. Heading over here, we have Piper's room. She's moved to Sanctuary. It's a lot safer, and she has um, expanded public occurrences throughout the whole commonwealth now as you can see she, this is a new work area she's writing away on the new paper you just say the word in a bathrobe just relaxing got a beautiful view got a news press printing machine sorry nice seating area just like a proper penthouse look looking area Beautiful furniture. We head up here. Even got our own personal balcony. It is very foggy. I will... We'll sleep a couple of hours. See if that passes the fog. Because it is ruining the views. 
as you can see it it does freeze on waiting in some areas in the settlement where it's I've added a lot of detail and stuff like that hey there we go right oh, it's still foggy oh yeah I didn't show you guys this down here um that's just a back area where the people can come and sit and eat have a few drinks let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load or, you know, yeah so that's Piper's room yeah you can see the frames get pretty bad right there Preston's room a bit more darker vibe to it you know with the lighting I mean he's got his armor here for when he's going on missions Minuteman hat. Got some money laying around. His old duster he keeps around. Lots of money, books, safe, ammo. Little cooking area here. A little a map where probably the general and, and Preston or maybe a sergeant. And Preston can lay out plans of Trading routes or missions, defensive stuff and stuff like that. He's got some bombs, swords, laser muskets. Yeah, he really likes his Deezer's lemonade. Some money under the bed. But yeah, that's Preston's nice little penthouse. And then out here, he also has a nice view. Sanctuary. We've got a plan out here. Alright, so that's the hotel. Really happy with how that turned out. I'll quickly show you guys out of the back here from the ground level as well. Okay. So. Now we've got the greenhouse. Well, actually, no, I'll show you guys down here first. So we have a wall that goes along the bank, the river here. And this is the third entrance. There's usually a guard there and keeping an eye on it and lots of turrets. Kind of just a side entrance. But we do have a settler that lives here. Kind of just on the outskirts, he doesn't really like to be around people, bit of a loner. He's got lots of hunting equipment. He probably goes out there, maybe past the river and does some hunting. Brings it back and sells it. Lots of weapons and stuff. A bit of a cowboy vibe to that. Looking area, he's got a radar dish as well. Right, so here we have the fishing hut. Oh, she's doing the wrong animation, but she's supposed to be feeding fish. Look about you. Anyway, <laughs> we hear from me. we'll just ignore that. So yeah, this is one source of food and economy for the settlement. We also have these boats here, which they... Um, visitors can go on little boat rides out. The lake over there. Got a few boats in the water indicating that. Now it does have a garage door as well. Right, so that's the fishing fishing house. Again more walls here. Okay. Now this is the water purification plant and workshop for the settlement. You and I make quite an effective team. We can see along here we have some bottled, uh, not bottled, sorry, barreled up water. And if someone's coming in and they really need a drink, you can get some for free here. Okay. Heading inside we have some... Machinery which we got working. Sturgis got working. 
some lockers, a few people in here doing some work. But yeah, this is a I workshop, the last time I had clean fingernails. and also it leads out to the water purification area. It's enough to keep, you know, the three settlements, Red Rocket, Abernathy, and Sanctuary, in my mind. It's enough for them, and a little bit left over for trading. But yeah, this is, it's got some storage for weapons as well. Working on some weapons, stuff like that. Proper little workshop. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. We head upstairs. You know what I call a good day? This is where the power One comes from from the settlement. Stomach. Lots of water held up. And here we have the office for the workshop. We got a nice little view down here. Okay, we'll head out onto the catwalk now. Yes. Give you guys a closer look at this. Got some overgrowth down there. Some cattails. But yeah, we've got somebody doing some diagnostics. Did you hear about that farm run by ghouls? Isn't that something? So that's the water purification area. Now, here is kind of the Minuteman garden. Nice statue. Let's just say, Paul Revere. Paul Revere. Some nice green grass and hedges, seating area. It's a nice area to hang out. Got a lady here reading public occurrences. Okay, and the last thing to show is the farm, the greenhouse. Now I built this at the very start of the playthrough. And then when I came back to do sanctuary and build it up, it was already there and I thought, well, I may as well keep it. So I moved it. It was where the mall was. It's just sitting over there. So I moved it back here. This is where the food comes from. I don't know why you're working on food. You're supposed to be a guard. Don't take your friends to Mars. Oh, he's got his gun out. <laughs> Anyways, that's the, the greenhouse growing a little bit of everything. Okay, so that's pretty much everything in Sanctuary. If you guys want to see... I just got to find somewhere to sleep. If you guys want to see a quick look around at night time, I'll show that now. But if not, then I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you liked it, like the video, leave a comment of your thoughts. Um, if you want to see more of my settlements, I've got a few videos already uploaded. County Crossing, Coastal Cottage, and Hangman's Alley. But yeah, I'll be uploading more settlements in the future. So if you're interested, definitely subscribe. But if you want to stick around and see the night tour, I'll, I won't go through every building. I'll just run around the, the street. Give you guys a bit of an overview of what it looks like. Okay. Because it does look kind of nice. So we'll start from the bridge here. Got a nice neon sanctuary sign. Everything's lit up. The nice lamp posts on each side of the road with the trees and the bushes looks really nice. Very happy with how that turned out. Even the neon workshop there looks nice. The gardens. Now this is a nice view of the hotel.
But yeah, that's that's everything, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Share it around with anyone else that might be interested. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. This one took me a long time to build and decorate. I mean, I'm sure there's things I'm missing that I haven't shown, you know. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Hopefully it inspired you guys to build your own stuff. See you guys in the next one.